All right. This is going to be the dual and tutorial. This is going to be titled video 13. Um, but you might not have seen part 12 yet because I might have to redo that one. <laughs> uh, that was the one for the two Kyos. Um, but for right now, this is Duolon. And um, just jumping right into this, he is a weird character. Um, uh, that's basically it. Uh, he's typically played on point. Uh, he has very low damage output in general. Um, but but um, he's got some tricks. Like he can poke you from this range very quickly. And uh, he's got a very good fireball. I mean, it doesn't go very far. It goes like this distance. Hard when it goes like this far. Um. And he can like poke you like this, and it's it's kind of hard to, to to deal with, especially because he can do stuff like this, where you like this move hits full screen, right? Pop it for a juggle, combo off of that, cross up. Um, but he has some very serious weaknesses. Uh, I, I wouldn't call him top tier, but I would say that most people don't know how to fight him. <laughs> Which is why you see a lot of high level players use him. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I'm pretty sure that Tokido learned him because he had trouble against him. Um, but, so, let's see. Um, I. He's good at controlling space, but I wouldn't say he's defensive, because he's got some really good normals. Like, this this move is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't have any, like, uppercuts, so he has trouble anti-air on, like, on reaction, but he can, but, like, you know, he, he's equipped with, with what he needs to anti-air everything. It's just, you need to be good. <laughs> um... His range is pretty long because of this, and, and like this, this goes really far. Um, that's about it for the overview here, but um, going into normals, this standing light punch actually misses on Crouchers, so it's not very useful uh, in terms of ground strings, but they can just block this, and it, and it misses. Um, it will hit them if, if they're being hit. Um, what is, again, what it, what it is used for, as for most characters, is Anthea the hop. Oh, I guess he hops really, really high, so, yeah, okay. For most characters, you would anti air with a hop, or you, you would, um, anti air a hop with this, but the roll and jumps really, really high, like really high. Um, it's one reason why he has a hard time like keeping up the pressure because he just ugh, he, he needs to wait forever. Um. However, what what makes this good is it's actually it's plus three on block. So if you can get them to block standing, I don't know how you would, but um, also that'll become obsolete when I talk about his crouching light punch, which is even better. Um, next, standing light kick. This actually hits low. Um, if you're good, you can chain into this. For three pokes. There you go. It's hard. And technically, th this would be his highest damage three poke low starter. If you can get that, but typically you won't use it. Um, what this is mainly used for is as a feint for one of his uh, special move command normal things. I don't know what to call them because they're, they're they're under his special moves list. Like he has no command normals, but they're under special moves. But it's like forward light punch. But but, but this looks like his forward B. His standing B looks like his forward B. So 
That's what that's used for. Is it? It's it, it's meant to be a like a faint for the for, for the poke there. Um. um I guess you could do this because his crouching light kick is not cancelable. Uh, so you could do low B stand B, but yeah. Um, it is plus one on the block, so that's something. Uh, next is standing hard punch. This is not close hard punch. This is just standing hard punch. Um, I just realized I don't have notes on. Oh no, I do. I do. I just put it in the wrong place. Um, this doesn't go very far. Like it, it'll miss from like here. Like, usually from 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 two pokes away, it's gonna miss. But you can actually get a link off of this. Like this, if you're fast. Which I'll I'll get into that. Um, it's not very fast in setup. It's five frames, and so far, standing A is five frames. Standing B is six frames. Standing C is five frames. Um, what this is meant to be used for is a combo starter and a frame trap pull. So they. They can like block like this. Uh, there, there's a two frame gap there, so they can make a frame trap for the combos on hit. Um, uh, let's see. You can't really anti with these, by the way. Like you, you can jab them. But you can't like do any of the like hard punches. You kind of miss. It hits really, really low. Um, that's why you have crouch, hard punch, and jab. Maybe even stand hard kick. It hits kind of upward. Very, very barely, but it, it does it upward. Um, far hard kick is one of the hit, one of his furthest reaching attacks. It's, I think it's his second furthest. Uh, let me check on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is his second furthest re uh, reaching attack. Um, um, it's also been nine frames, so like you can do this like this. Oops. You, you can like poke with it at after three pokes. HD. Um, but you can't cancel it. Like it's not cancelable in anything except for HD. So, yeah. Um, as for close hard kick, this is a close version. Uh, this is completely cancelable. And specials and command normals. I say command normals, but not really, but, um, um, this is going to be slightly slow, it's six frames, so if you wanted to, like, uh, delay your frame trap slightly, you would use hard kick. Um, you might be able to anti with this, but I doubt it. Uh, let me test that. Okay, it worked there, but, um, yeah. Uh, I don't ever use it for that pur uh, for that purpose, but I use this one, which we'll get into uh, in a bit. Now, crushing Light Punch. This is the one they, they, wanna, they just want to do this for. Like, they can't really do much about this. This is his fastest attack. This is four frames. Most characters have three frames stuff, but he does not. He, uh, he has a four frame. Um, but it's also plus four on block. Plus four. So what, 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 what you can do is you can do this. And it's like, just do this. And then like, randomly like, confirm off of them like this. Um, so basically, this is, this is, you need to use this. This is his best move, by far. Um, like, there's very little that you can do to uh, beat this. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, it, it goes really far, too. Like, you can do it after three pokes on hit, I guess. Like, that actually combos. It goes really far. Um, so, not, not only is it his fastest move, it is his most plus move. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, moving on, Crouch B hits low, so th the difference between Crouch A and Crouch B, Crouch B is not cancelable, so I can't like, cancel into anything except like, HD, which I'll get into that, um, whereas, it hits low and does more damage, 
It is 30 damage, whereas Crouching A does 25 damage. This is general across all characters. Uh, where your lights are, your your kicks hit harder and hit low, but your jabs are cancelable. Um, sometimes sometimes they, they even reach further, but... Um, let's see. So this is good. You, you'll be doing this a lot. That chain. Um, as opposed to this one. Uh, this one starts up in 5 frames. So if you want something quick, use this. For, for less damage. If you, but if you want something that hits low, do this. Um, so that's a very... The, these two moves are going to be like the crux of your offense completely. Like lots of that. Um, and lots of this. this. Um, crushing C is an anti-air. Uh, this is always minus. This is You always want to cancel this into something. Um, like a firewall or a teleport. Um, but this is going to be your main anti-air tool. This actually is a very good anti-air. Um, let's see. Like, if someone's just jumping at you, anti-air that. On a reaction? Like... Depending on what they do, it might trade. But, yeah, especially from, from further range like this. It'll probably trade. Um, but if you're up, like, here, like, right here, like that. Nope, too far away. If you hit it early, yeah, let me, let me get this. Like, just, you can just raw react to this, or hit it early. Cancel it into like a fireball or something. Oh well. Wow. Okay, you can't cancel it from up there apparently. Yeah, but th this is a very good anti air for like jumps. This is your hop anti air. This is your jump anti air. This will anti air ho uh, hops, but it not nearly as consistently. You have to be kind of close. Like. It doesn't go very far in the in the horizontal in the, in like the the horizontal uh, direction. So um, it is technically six frames, although it hits low first. It, it's the same thing as Q, where it hits low first, so it's not actually six frames, and and then it goes up. So it's, it's not actually a six frame anti air because you're, you're going to be hitting with the upper head, uh, with the the upper part of it. It's gonna be like seven or eight frames. So, um, cutting hard kick. This is gonna be a, your furthest range attack. This is your furthest range attack. Period. Basically, um, in, ter in terms of uh, normal days. So, um, however, unlike most characters, it's not cancelable. You can HD. So you can't like cancel it or or chain it into like, forward A. Um, it's the same thing as uh, as standing hard kick. It, it just goes further and hits low. Um, so uh, so sometimes if I'm like re really far away. I'll punish with this because of its range. I'll just run up and sweep him. If I, if I don't think that I can get to him in time, I'll just do, do, I'll do that. Um, um, as for standing CD, I, 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 I forgot to talk about this. This is not as far as it looks. It looks like it goes pretty far, but it actually doesn't. What about here? If you chain perfectly like that, you're just in range. Right, right there is its maximum range. Boom. Boom. Um, you'd you, you'd want to use this if you need to cancel something. Because it's cancelable on whiff. 
Uh, also notice that you like take a step forward. Boom. His fireball does not normally step forward like that. It's it's a Yuka. Yuka. It moves him forward slightly. Um, well, what this is actually used for. Notice the direction of, of the animation there? That actually crosses up. Watch this. If I, uh, if I set, set, if I do this. I'm holding forward. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it takes too long. They, they had to be standing still. Oh, okay. If I hold down. Oh gosh. Wait. It, maybe it's character specific. It might be character spe spe specific, but notice that if if they block this, you like do specials the the wrong way. See, like I'm throwing fireballs backwards now. Apparently, that's not a cross up. I thought it was. There there are ways to make a cross up though by doing it like me, and I'll get into that later. Um, However, this does not work in the corner, unfortunately. We just get four versions. Um, it's pretty slow. It's 13 frames, but it's only minus one. So, and you can like space it, or like have a meaty. Um, all right, that's it for his garden normals. Uh, jumping normals. These are gonna be very scatter plotty. Um, jumping A is. Like, they can just crush under, like, this isn't very good for air to ground. But if you look at the angle on it, eh. It goes, like, perfectly horizontally, so you can use this as, like, an air to air. Um, but other than that, it's not very useful. Um, you might, like, jump back with it to, like, control space, but then you would just want to use your air command, which is this thing. Uh, I'll get into that in a bit. Um, jumping B, this is, uh, your quick air to ground normal. It hits really, really low. It hits really, this is a really good normal. Um, also, you can actually chain these into your, um, into your, um, air specials. Like this. Uh, let's get him to jump here. Like that. Um, and I'll get into what those things do after normals here. Um, um, this is what I like to jump in with, um, just because it hits so freaking low. Um, as for jumping C, this does not hit crouchers, I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't gotten it to work. It's That's what it looks like. Is like it, it it looks like it should but it doesn't. Um, so this is gonna be like like a fake, I guess. Or something to air to air with. Um, I never ever use it on purpose, basically. Um, as, as for jumping G D, however, this hits very, very low. This is gonna be your your, your primary jumping tool. It goes further than jumping B. Maybe. Like here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um Um, this is going to be your your main air to ground move. Like this. Um, as for jumping CD, it kind of does the best of both worlds in terms of air, um, air to ground and air to air. Um, it hits low, but it also hits really high. I'll, I'll, I'll try and show this off here. Uh, it hits really high up. Uh, there we go. He's kind of like on top of me, but it still hits. So, um, but it's slower. It, it's 10 frames, whereas Jumping Arthur is, is uh, 7 frames. So if, if someone's like doing this, and you're like, how do I stop them? Uh, do you, don't, don't, don't do a, a jumping CD. Do a jumping like light punch to, to, to meet him uh, in the air. Or jumping C, because that's only one frame slower. Um, let, let, let me just tell you the, the, the stuff here. A is 5, B is 5, C 
C is 6, D is 7, C, D is 10. Um, as, for, as for cross ups, uh, he this can't cross up. Light punch can't cross up. However, um, I believe like it can. I didn't test this. I probably should have. But I'm not getting. I'm not getting it to work. Um, yeah. Um, hard punch can cross up. I know this for a fact. I've done it before on accident. But it's very p particular. Like right there. A little closer. Not too far. Right there. Right there. Right there. That that was a cross up. So, um, if you can make a cross up, go go for it. A hard kick, however, is a little bit easier to cross up with. Not much. Um, right there. Yeah. Um. The window to, to cross up with it is slightly larger than than our bunch. Um, Jump CD, however, is just ridiculous. Kind of, it, it's really weird, but it will it will cross up like that too. So, oh, uh, uh, right there. So, um, as for what's cancelable, all of your jump normals are cancelable into uh, your air specials, except for jump hard kick. I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me test this. Oh, yeah. Light punch is cancelable. Hard punch is cancelable. Light kick is cancelable. Hard kick is not cancelable. CD is cancelable. So. Mess around with that and see what's useful. Um, Alright, next this is command normal specials. So. <laughs> I don't know what what they call these because they they act like command rolls in some ways and in some other ways they they act, they act like special moves like they have ex versions and they and like you can drive cancel into them like that um, so first is forward A so really there's only four of them there's forward A forward B and then the air versions and all they are are like extensions of what his normals are. At the cost of like longer re recovery, so like this is a standing A, this, this is forward A, but it's it, it's slower, but it goes like super far. Um, so this is a far range poke, basically. It's, it's all it is, and you can actually cancel it like like a command normal. Uh, this is technically a, a free cancel, and I'll get into free cancels after I go over all the special moves. Um, now th this has an uh, an EX version. Um, this is faster on startup. This is nine frames. This is six frames. Um, and this is plus on block. So, whereas meterless is minus on block. It's minus four. EX is plus two on block at point blank range, and it like pulls them in. Like, look, look how far away I am. It actually pulls them out of, out of the corner. Um, this is this includes on hit. And it's very plus on hit. It's plus a nine on hit. So you can get a full combo on hit. Um, they're both cancelable though. So like you can do that. This will actually combo like that, and you can combo off of that too. Some fancy combos. Um, let's see. Forward light kick. This actually hits full screen. Um, kind of hard to deal with. This is actually, believe it or not, it's plus on block. This is actually plus one on block. Plus one. Um, so you can just kind of do this, and they don't have a way to beat it like that. But it it, it will eventually uh, shove you away. Now the EX version is. Plus two on block is faster. It starts up. Uh, this is eleven frames. This is seven frames. Um, this actually launches for a full juggle. Like you, you can do whatever the heck you want here. Um, typically, you just do super and like do a cross up to get back in the corner. Um, 
As for... Let's see here. Oh. Notice underneath them, the little foot that appears. Here, I'll put them on guard. The foot underneath them is shoving them away, right? It shoves them away. But if you're further away, it actually it actually will shove them toward you. Uh, this is a distance thing, right? So if you're close, it shoves them away. If you're far away, it shoves them close. Only for the EX version. Wow, he didn't block that. What the frick? I'm confused. Is that an overhead? I'm confused. Why was he not blocking that? It's very peculiar. Anyway, um, this also applies to uh, the launcher as well. If you're close by, they'll get, they'll get uh, hit away from you. And if they're far away, they get launched toward you. So you can find ways to use that in combos. Um, now the air versions of this, again, they're just extensions of your air normals. Jumping A versus jumping forward A. Uh, this is going to be your main tool to like just cover airspace safely. Like, if they try to, like... Jump. Like, you can just kind of jump away and do this. And they'll hit him out of the air. Especially during full jumps. Like, it, it, is, it covers the space so well. Like that. It is, it, it's kind of annoying to deal with. Um, as for the Ford B, hit on the ground. So... It's almost the same mindset as Doll's Limits. Do I want to cover the air or do, or do I want to cover the ground? Um, however, you, you can actually use these in combos. Like, let's see if I can get one here. Like that. Or even like that. Um, now the EX versions. EX Punch version actually has anywhere juggle, so normally I can't hit him. Right? Yeah, I'm at counter. Um, however, if you use the EX version of this in the air, it will actually still hit them. Um, and this can be used in combos for like ending, like ending combo. Like uh, you'll see this a lot actually. There's this. There's this. Come on. This. Do that. Um, so that's useful when like air to airing. You can actually cancel into this for some extra damage. If you're good. If you're really good, you can get like two or three of them. Let's see if I can get this here. Yeah, I, I got two of them there. For 200 damage off of an air to air, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Oh, e yeah, so this is basically just more blocks and, and, and hits done. Let's put him on one more jump here. If I just do this at the at the like top, I, I, let's see. If I do this off of a hop instantly, I'm actually minus. But if I do this, yeah. I'm still minus actually. Maybe the blocks aren't the same. What, what about chip damage? Oh, they don't do chip damage. Okay. Um, but this allows for better combos for what, like this. Let me let me show you here. Absolutely, it, it, it does give you more hits done. Like that. So you can get like multiple jump ins in one combo. Uh, utilize that with the fireball, and it's kind of ridiculous. Um, in terms of the amount of stun that, that you can deal very quickly for no meter. Um, let's see what's next. That's basically it for his command normals. Um, as for startups, this is 8 frames. Uh, EX is 5 frames. Uh, 11 frames on the B. And on the EX is 8 frames. 8 frames. 8 frames. Uh, Alright, specials. Uh, his specials are very 
independent of one another, and they're very unique. Uh, they're weird. Uh, teleports. I'm going, I'm going in, in order of the command list here. Teleports. Um, so, quarterback, light kick. Quarterback, hard kick. Quarter forward, light kick. Quarter forward, hard kick. And EXs. Alright. So the direction, obviously, says which direction you go. However, the, the strength will determine your windup and distance. Uh, this is the forward light teleport. It goes right there. Forward hard teleport. You saw him like wind up a little bit there, and it goes much further. Uh, this will pass three people. Like this. Um, the backward teleports have much longer startup. Like you see him. Ugh. Like he waits for a second. Whereas the forward teleport. Um, especially the forward light punch. Or the forward uh, light kick version. Doesn't have very much startup at all. Whereas the harder one kind of does. Ugh. Very slight, but it does. Um, what these can be used for is mix ups, like especially with. With, with a fireball, like 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 if you knock him down or something. Wow. And you teleport like behind them or something like that. Um, I don't really use them for mix-ups outside of like one like like like, like this, like that. Um, although that's really easy to see coming, so I just do it to get like spacing or to switch sides or whatever. Um, let's see. Um, as for the backward teleports, uh, they are the same actually. This is B version. Watch this. B version. I'm right here. D version. Exactly the same distance. Exactly the same startup, etc. Uh, they're identical. Um, however, the EX versions <coughs> are quicker. They, they don't really have this startup, right? They're much quicker. They're a lot quicker actually. Uh, you can actually get like jump-ins here so they they're just basically uh faster ones however they, they're, they're also invincible so let me show you this uh, uh. wow there we go i use the light teleports forward nothing our version nothing and the back version, nothing. However, if I burn meter on it, it's burning right through it. Boom. Um, so the, I use, if I ever use this, it's meant to be, it's really, in combos or like this. I'll try and like, keep keep up the the, the pressure, and especially like, like like this. I'll, I might sometimes like, do something like, 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 like this. And try to throw them. Whatever. Um, anyway, moving on from the teleports. Next is Rekka's. Uh, okay. So the light and the light and, and hard versions are identical again, um, but. This is seven frame startup, so it's pretty quick. Um, that that has from 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 point blank range, and the way this works is it's it's like Fei Long's, right? Where if you do the first one, you can do a second one like that, and if you hit with the with the second one, you can get three. Um, this can also work on hit, block, or miss. Um, normally. The first bracket is minus eight, so they're all minus. They're all always minus, minus eight. But if you space it perfectly, like right there, you're only minus two. Uh, so it's pretty good when spaced that way. So you can do something like this and cancel. The block here, like that, and just try and space it right uh, to make it safer. Um, 
Now the EX version is faster. It's five frames startup, and it's a lot better on block. The first one's minus four. I'll show you this. The first one is minus four, but the second one is minus one. I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but you basically always want to do two of these. I'll get into that later. Um, however, for the last one, minus 27. So, huh, yeah. Um, the, the EX one is useful for combos because it has uh, special free cancels. Well, I'll, um, I'll get into that very shortly. Um, actually, right, right after the fireball. So the fireball. Um, okay, so he has three, three versions of this, right? He has the light version, Niruka, hard version, and the EX version. Um, so these are very different. Um, I don't know how to say this, but uh, the light version goes not even close to half screen actually. It's about 35% of the screen. Right about there is where it goes away. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't hit that far either. It only goes like here. Right there. Oh, right there. That's too far. Right there. Right there's the max range. Um, one pixel further. It actually hits. Oh. Two pixels further. Nope, three pixels. Oh, that was too far. Right there. There we go. Max range. Um, however, the hard version goes from like here, so it's a little bit further. It takes longer to get there, obviously, because it's further away. Right there. Right here. Boom. Max, max range right here. Okay. So it's a good step away. That's about this, this difference. Um, so the, the difference here is actually start up here. The light one starts up very fast. It actually combos from certain things. You saw it combo from like this. Like that will combo. Like that will combo, where the hard version won't. Hard version's much slower, but you recover like immediately. Like. The fireball is already out and almost gone by the time you actually jump here but with the hard version you jump immediately uh, so it's very similar to other fireballs except reverse <laughs> um, EX1 goes much further it actually goes from like here I believe no it appears to be the same as the hard version so that's your miss yeah This actually hits multiple times. Mid screen. Right. So you can do like really easy combos. Really easy to it's basically like it's it's like carries. Uh, EX power wave basically. Um, only much slower. Uh, it's it's faster than than the hard version, but it's slower than than the light version. The light version is much faster. Um, as for comboing, you can always combo off of all of these, always, including the light one. Uh, hard one. Hard one, you can actually get like a jumping combo. Let me see if we can get this here. That. That's actually going to lead to your highest meterless damage if you somehow get that. Um, uh, the, the, the only problem with the EX version is, is in the corner. It actually doesn't hit him. It it doesn't stay there. It keeps going off screen. You can get like three hits from like this one. So. Maybe only two. Maybe I'm lying. Yeah. If if you're further away, you you you'll get two, but it's kind of useless. Um, 
you really won't see it too much, especially in the corner. Uh, but anyway, that's enough ranting. Um, next is his free cancels. Okay, so he has four major free cancels. Um, the first one is obviously the 6A is, is cancelable into basically anything that is not forward B or another forward A. Even EX versions. However, you, you can cancel into his uh, fireball, his rekkas, or even his teleports. Backward and forward. Um, uh, any backward teleport can be cancelled into forward B. At any point. Any backward teleport, including the EX one. So you can do tricky stuff like this. Keep doing that. Like that. So you can't cancel forward A into forward B, but you can cancel forward A into a backward teleport and then cancel that teleport into a forward B. So, so watch my inputs here. Right? I go forward A, and then I cancel in into the backward teleport, and then I hit forward B. And this will combo. If you do the EX version, watch for a full combo. That's how you do that, by the way. Um, so, sometimes, if you're poking with, with, with forward A, sometimes cancel the fireball, because it's going to give you a lot of um, advantage in space control. Sometimes, catch them with this. And sometimes uh, catch him with the EX one as well. Um, okay, so next one is the third meterless Rekka can be cancelled into uh, any forward teleport. This includes on block. I'll show you on block here. Forward teleport. The last Rekka can be teleport cancelled. For free. I have no meters. New meters. Um, on whiff you can't. You can't do these, you can't do any of these on whiff. None of them work on whiff, except for the except for the, the, the teleport, obviously. Um, so this is useful in combos for one. Come on, because you can actually combo off of this. So this is going to be your 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 primary combo tool, actually. Mm. Um, you can also cancel it into the EX version. Like that. Um, last cancel is actually EX Rekka. Oh, on me, here. Any hit of your EX Rekka can be cancelled into any special move. So, like that. Cancel into the fireball. Uh, except for other Rekkas, right? Like, you just keep, you just keep going. Teleport, um... So, you, 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 you can cancel any hit of the EX Rekka into any special move that isn't a Rekka or forward A or forward B. Or air moves, obviously, because you're not in the air. Um, so this is useful in combo. Th this is going to be a very, very high damage um, option. Very high damage option. Is comboing into the EX Rekka and then canceling the second Rekka into the light version fireball. Like that. That's one bar for 350 damage. That's pretty good. Off of a low. Um, uh, all three hits of this are cancelable, by the way. All three hits. Even the last one. But typically, you'll want the second one, because this is also a block string. Boom. Block string. Whereas, first hit, not so much. Whoops. That's it, not, not so much. The, the, you want to cancel the second hit of the EX Vector. Um, anyway, next, supers. Uh, he has really just one super. Um, he has quarterback, half forward, punch. Uh, this will go underneath fireballs, so let me show you that. You can react to a fireball and punish it with that move. 
However, it's not guaranteed or anything. So like, if you hit it like, if you're too late on it, you can block that. No, that, 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 one, that wasn't late, late enough, but that was way too early. But um, it does good damage. This is gonna be a very good combo ender. But the EX version is actually different. It's a lot, a lot faster. It is more damage. It, it actually does unscaled damage. It crosses up. I'm on this side now. Um, and um, it's completely and totally invincible. Whereas, it, like, say I do this. Uh, if I do the regular super here. Boom, he hits me, it's not invincible. Hard version is, I, is the same thing. EX version is invincible. Cross up, oh, I didn't cross up. Um, let's see here. Uh, startups, uh, the regular one is 14 frames. It's very, very, very slow, but it will combo off of some things. Uh, like, like this. Like that will combo. You need to mix them off of that. Um, but the EX version will combo off of more because it's 5 frames. It's very, very, very fast. Um, this is going to be a very good anti tool as well. On reaction. Let's see if I can get this. I'm bad. You can react to this with an anti-air uh, EX super, but it's eh. I really don't. Because it's kind of like the freaking rolling thunder issue where it just it tends to go underneath people. If you want to anti-air someone from like a range, Rekka. This is a very good anti-air. Very good anti-air actually. It's surprisingly good. And you get a combo off of it. Very good, very good, very good, very good. However, obviously, it's not invincible or, or um, anything like, like that, so you'll need to space it right. But anyway, let's see. Moving on, Neomax. This is a one frame command grab. This is actually a grab. He said he said to all guard to block lows, to block overheads. He will not black throws. This is a one pin command grab with a lot of invincibility frames. A lot of invincibility frames. Um, does quite, quite a bit of damage, and in, in a corner if you're good. Combo off of it. For a little, little bit more damage. This is going to be mainly an HD combo ender tool, but... Eh. You can mix this in with like, like, like if you do three pokes here, let's, let's do this. Like that. You can actually use it to mix up, but it's eh. Meh. You saw it there, it didn't actually work. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you don't really see it often, maybe to wake up with it. It is technically an invincible uh, re reversal option, but I mean, just do this. So, all right, that's it for the supers, actually. So, moving right along, we have combos. Um, I'm I'm tempted to call this video a basics video because there's a lot of difficult combos that you that you can use. I'm going to be going over the basic ones that are easy and work everywhere, including mid-screen. Um, you actually have a, you, you, you have a lot of variance in what you, in what you can do. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out in what scenarios, which one does the most damage. Um, so obviously, first of all, this is a combo. Use this a lot. 
just, just, just to like annoy. And again, this is plus on block, so they have to like sit there and block that. And then you get like a jumping or something. Um, as for starter combos, as in like starters for four combos, uh, that's gonna be your your main low starter is low B low B low A. And then uh, from there you'll combo into Mecha's cancel into the teleport and then standing hard bunch or standing hard kick. Um, again, if you're really bad at quarters, play this character. He'll he'll teach you how to do quarter, 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 quarter. Um, especially on like whiffs like this. Gotta go really, really fast on that. Um, if you want a a heavy starter, just do this. Boom. Um, you can do this. And technically that will be more damage, but that won't work from like here. Oh, it will work, never mind. Anyway, um, combos. What, what, what do you combo into? I'll show you, uh, uh, um, I've been doing the meaningless one. Like a, like a, like a teleport. Um, if you, if you want to spend a bar, go, go into the EX Rekka. And then cancel into the light version of the fireball. And then uh, you can link after that. Even mid screen. Oops. Get a low jab in there. Into the same combo as before. Um, if you're in the corner, you, you can actually get a fierce instead, like that. This won't work mid-screen. You're 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 a little bit too far away. Um, if you want even more damage, go in, go into the forward light punch. Although you'll miss the first Rekka. So it's a little bit harder to get that to go really really fast there, but it's more damage, slightly more. It's seven. It's seven seven points uh, more, more damage. Three fifty eight. Oh my god. Three fifty one. So seven more damage. Um, if you want to spend a drive, do this. Cancel the second Rekka into a forward light punch. And then cancel that into a Rekka. That's all it is. All it is. Um, it might seem kind of weak. Because it's not very much damage. Like, for one bar, you're getting 350, but for a drive, you're getting 250. So it's like, uh, it seems a little bit weak. Uh, it is, because he really doesn't have a better one that I found that's easy. Um, anyway, moving on. If you want to spend two bars, you can actually super here. EX Super does a lot of damage. Um, if you want to spend a bar and a drive, you can do this. This is... Frick. It, it's basically the one bar combo and the drive combo like mixed together. And then teleport and then fear. Um, let's see here. Uh, what do you do after combos? Uh, I should do two enders there. 
Um, I showed you Fierce, and I showed you EX, wow. EX Super. Now, after the Fierce, you have a couple of options. Um, the one I typically use. Fireball. Super the pressure there. Just like this. We're running after it. They really can't deal with that unless they're like got special options that go through fireballs or whatever. Um, you can also teleport the other direction like this. Oops. And this will cross them up. This might catch new players if they're not very familiar with the character. Um, typically, I'll like run up and do more low attacks off that, like that. Um, let's see, if you want to like meaty them with help by like being, if you want a safe meaty, oops, yeah the corner, come on, teleport backwards and then use the 4B as they land. that and they really can't do anything about that unless they're like they they have something that goes that far and is invincible. Um Kim, Rombu Supers. Um or if you want to build meter go into one Rekka and then you're kinda of like right right next to them so you can do more pressure that way. Um if in if you're in the corner it's the same thing. Except you can't really cross up with this. There's no point in teleporting here. At least, at least forward. Because teleports don't build meter. Um, watch this. Backward, forward, back and forward. Hard version, nothing. So if you want if you wanna if you want to build meter, Rekka. Rekka there. And then meaty. Um See. If you wanted to, you could do this. Cancel into the hard fireball. Um. And again, if they want to like wake up with an uppercut, you can do this. Teleport backwards in the medium. Um, all right. After the, the super, you have a couple of options here. This is actually a, a legitimate mix-up. If you get, you get this. Wow, I told you. Boom! That is a cross-up. across it. Um, even, even in the corner, it pushes them out. Oh my god. I can't super. Oh my god. I can't do it on the ground. Hold on. Even the corner, boom, cross it up. And then you can cancel it into the fireball to be safe. Or you can do this. Uh, oh my god. Like, super is not important right now. Or you can stay 
in the front with a close heart punch combo. Like that. Those are really the only two things I do besides a block. So. Alright. We're coming to the end. HD combos. Um, I only ever start HD combos with with this. With two low Bs. And then I late cancel the HD to get close hard punch. That's all I ever do. Uh, except if I'm like punching something. Like it, say he like... Uh, say, say he does a super. Um, I can punish this with hard punch, and then teleport, or and then uh, and then um, HD. You cannot HD cancel his forward light punch or forward light kick. It's not possible. So you, you need to do it off of a hard punch, and then after this late cancel, cancel in the rekas. And this is the loop that they're gonna be doing. That is this mirrorless um, HD combo. Um, this is actually surprisingly useful because his main damage comes from like one bar, right? So if you can actually survive long enough to get an HD with, with Duol on, you might not have any meter, right? Um, if you do want to spin meter, um, I don't recommend spending one bar on this because there's really no good option. But um, for two bars, you can do this. Instead of ending with a with a C, ending with the EX super, and the last hit is, is on scale 120 damage, which is which is really good. So that's really good damage. I here. Six hundred damage for two bars. Not the best, but it's pretty good. Um, the alternative to that, which is more damage, is a little bit harder. Two, three, four. Is instead of going into that last drive cancel, go into the Neo Max, and you'll get slightly more damage off of that. But it's a little, little bit harder because you're, you're 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 canceling Rekka Rekka Neo Max. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Kind of hard, but it's doable. And then, whatever. Um, the three bars, you just do super instead. Two, three, four, five, and then cancel that. Um, I'm counting the forward A's, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm counting these. One, two, three, four. Cancel the fifth one into super. And then you can actually Neo Max cancel that. One, two, three, four, five. I missed it. One, two, three, four, five. Too late, I guess. One, two, three. Oh, I missed it. The, the input. Oops, I'm, I'm stupid. Maybe I'm too early. My inputs look... Oh no, I messed up the input again. Ah. I'll get this. Here, I'll, I'll do it this way. 
right there. As soon as it hits Neo Max. Um, if you want to do this with four bars. Do the EXs instead. And then Neo Max backwards. <laughs> Whoops, I did too many. Ah, almost. Ah. Oh, that was way, way too late. But you, you can drive cancel that last hit. Well, you can New Mex cancel any of the hits, actually. But you, you get that 120 unscaled and the Neo Max. And then you can't really get anything after it, unfortunately. And the launcher does. Oh, wrong, wrong way. So Neo Max backwards. Still more damage because of that 120 um, unscaling, but so this is all you need to know to begin playing him. Um, everything else is training mode, honestly. Like, hey, what can I do? Like, you have a lot of freedom in what you can do with this character. Like, he's very mobile, very mobile. If you if you know how to play him, right? Like, he can be wherever he wants to be at any point in time. Um, don't play him for his damage. He's got good damage for one bar, which is why he's point character, mainly. He's got this. Like he's got good damage for one bar, but other than that, it's not very... Like, most characters can get like 500 for a bar and a drive. He really can't. He doesn't really have a way. As far as I know, but this has been like the bare bones basics of what you need of what you need to know with him. Um, so if you know more, uh, tell me if there's better combos that I'm not showing you. Um, I I try to keep the HD combo simple because there's weird ones that you can do. You you, you can look up videos. He's pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> like, he's got, like, double stun combos, double HD combos. It's ridiculous. But those are much harder to do. And they require, like, a fireball. You know, like, hey, I'm fireballing you. Know? And I'm doing all my, like, triple dumpings. <laughs> um, but... Um, you don't need those. Like, all I've showed you here today, this is my main character, and that's all I, that, that's all I ever use is, is those combos. Is I do I do a lot of this and a lot of this. Yeah. And then like poke and then anti air. That's all I do. Um, like he's don't don't again don't play him for for his damage. Play him for his space control and neutral. And then you'll get better with him as you play him. Um. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Oh, oh, I hope you enjoyed it. But as always, um, more importantly, I, I I hope you learned it or you you learned something from it because this is a weird character and this is the first character that I've done that that Juicebox has not done. So hopefully, hopefully I'm good on it. Um, again, if if you see anything wrong, tell me because I'll 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 make another one. You know. I'll go over, hey, this is stuff that I lied about, <laughs> or this is stuff that I missed, or that I could have done better, so. Thanks for watching, yeah, okay.